What you have here with a rice cooker filled with steamed rice, that's it, that's dinner. Super easy. Hi everyone. If you guys don't know, I recently had a baby and life with a baby has been um, delightful and fun, but also tiring. When it comes dinner time, I'm often, even food blogger Sarah is like, what do we eat for dinner? I have no idea what to eat for dinner often. So I've been finding myself reaching for our own recipes, walks of life recipes that take not a lot of time to make and that don't involve a lot of ingredients and that also I can make in one pan and dinner is done. So this is one such recipe. This is string bean chicken stir fry, very similar to what you might find at a Chinese takeout restaurant and we are going to show you how to make it at home. So the recipe has a few simple steps. First, you're going to slice and marinate the chicken. We're going to velvet the chicken, which is a process of marinating it to keep the moisture in when you stir fry it. We have green beans here. I bought pre-washed and uh, trimmed green beans because I'm not trying to trim green beans right now in this season of life. And some sliced garlic. And we're going to sear the chicken, sear the green beans, and then we're going to put it all together with a sauce and it literally takes maybe five minutes or five, 10 minutes in the walk and maybe 10 minutes of prep. Okay, so I have some chicken thighs here, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You can use thighs or chicken breast. These are still actually partially frozen. So if you're like me and you don't take your meat out to defrost until like 3 p.m., uh, this is the recipe for you because you can actually just slice it partially frozen and it actually makes it easier to slice. Um, so I'm just going to, so the chicken thigh is a little bit like irregularly shaped. So I just like split it up first and then I just kind of slice it. If you have ever heard the adage of slicing your meat against the grain, the grain quote unquote is a lot easier to see on like, say like a piece of beef chicken. It's a little more challenging, but you can kind of see this like faint, like lines going this way. So I'm cutting, I am cutting against it. Actually, in the time it took me to say my spiel, this chicken defrosted. <laughs> as long as it's defrosted enough that you can cut, slice through it, it's fine. I'm going for slices or strips. If you have a chicken breast, slices make a little more sense just because of the shape. And chicken thighs are a little bit thinner, so the strips are fine as well. This is a really simple recipe and we're not trying to overcomplicate. Okay, there we go, there's the chicken. So now I'll put it in the bowl and I'm going to add my velveting ingredients. So the main velveting ingredients that you need anytime you velvet meat are cornstarch and a little bit of oil. So any neutral oil, or if you want, you could use a flavored oil. We're actually gonna use both today. So we're gonna use some, this is avocado oil, but you could use any oil that is, has a neutral flavor, like a vegetable oil or whatever you have. And then I'm also gonna use some sesame oil I'm just eyeballing everything. This recipe is pretty forgiving. So here I'm gonna add some light soy sauce um, and that's for the, just to flavor the chicken and season it. And then I'm gonna add some cornstarch. So the combination of the cornstarch and oil is gonna create this sort of barrier on the chicken that keeps it juicy when it hits that really searing hot wok. Just the cornstarch. And the last ingredient, which is a little bit surprising, is water. So let's go to the sink and just add a little bit of water. And the water, you'll be surprised, actually absorbs directly into the chicken and it makes the chicken extra juicy. So it, you, you see it like looks like a lot of liquid there, but as I sort of massage the marinade ingredients into the chicken, the chicken is gonna absorb all that liquid and that's it. And the great thing about this quote unquote marinade is that you don't have to stick it in the fridge for overnight or two hours or you know, whatever it's, this is it, it's marinated and it's ready to go, ready to cook. Okay, so in addition to the marinated chicken and the green beans that have already been prepared by the supermarket, um, I have some sliced garlic and then I have my sauce mixture which has a little bit of chicken stock. You could also use water. Um, I actually used 
water plus a little bit of uh, bouillon paste. And there's some sugar in here, a little bit of light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, sesame oil, white pepper, and the cornstarch. So the cornstarch is what's gonna thicken the sauce up. And I actually add it directly to the sauce to eliminate the step of making a separate cornstarch slurry. So I have what I need. I have my green beans, chicken, sauce, and garlic, and we're ready to go to the wok. Okay, so the first step to any stir fry recipe that involves searing a protein is to heat the wok until it's just starting to smoke, and then I'm gonna add the oil. This is what's gonna give you a nonstick cooking surface. So I am heating it, and we will just wait for it to start lightly smoking, which should happen any minute now. <laughs> There it is. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna add the oil. And this is just to sear the chicken for now. So I'm gonna spread the oil around. So most Chinese stir fries start with pre-searing the meat like this. So I'm spreading it in one layer. Turn on the fan. I'll flip it. And as you can see, it's really like not sticking. That step of preheating the wok really makes sure that your chicken is not gonna stick. So that's it. I only cooked it about three quarters of the way. Now I'm gonna take it out and put it back in the bowl. Remember that the chicken is gonna get cooked again, so I'm not gonna dirty another bowl. You're just gonna put it back into the wok to cook further. So the heat is back on and I've added a couple tablespoons of oil to the wok for the green beans. And now I'm going to add those. And I'm just gonna sear them on one side for about a minute. And then we're gonna add water to the wok, cover it, and that's gonna steam the green beans and cook them really quickly. Just coat them in oil and then let them sear. I'm surprised you didn't cut those, but I guess it's just an extra step, huh? Did I say to cut them in the recipe? I don't know. I just would cut them if it was for myself. Yeah, I did say to cut them in the recipe. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> She's a new mother. Yeah. These were supposed to be cut in half. I forgot. It's fine. Just bite it. Yeah, <laughs> just bite it. <laughs> just bite it in half. <laughs> But the reason that you would cut them in half is so that the shape of the green bean is more in line with the shape of the chicken and the green beans are gonna be more distributed. These aren't cut in half, but what are you gonna do? They're in the wok already. So these have been searing and I'm stir frying for another little bit, like 30 seconds or so. Maybe I'll turn the heat down because it's really smoking. But this is gonna give the green beans like really that smoky wake flavor. And then once we get that flavor that we want, we wanna actually cook the green bean through. So that's why I'm gonna add water and then I'm gonna cover it. And we just have to let that steam for about 60 to 90 seconds because it's gonna simmer in the sauce too. Depending on how cooked you like your green beans, some people like it crisp tender, some people like them a little bit more cooked. You can be the judge if you take the lid off and you feel like it's not quite cooked enough, you can still stir fry it a little bit more. Um, although I will say that I was taught never to cover and steam again if you've already done it once because that turns vegetables yellow. I'm not entirely sure if that's true, but that's what my mom always said. Okay, it's true. <laughs> Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! <laughs> Don't do it! 
as you were. So there are the green beans. They're nice and green and vibrant. There's still a bit of water in there, so I'm just gonna let, I'm gonna turn up the heat and let that water cook off a little bit. And like I said, if your green beans are not cooked quite enough to your liking, you can just keep stir frying them just like this after you take the cover off. All right, I'm gonna add the garlic. And I'm gonna add the sousing wine, sousing cooking wine. If you don't have sousing wine, you can also use dry sherry, a dry cooking sherry. Okay, now I'm going to add the sauce mixture, which has cornstarch in it, remember, so you want to stir it up again to make sure that the cornstarch is incorporated. I don't feel any lumps of cornstarch in there, so I'm going to pour it in. And I'm also going to add the chicken back to the wok. And that's it. That's the dish. Super simple, fast, and with what you have here with a rice cooker filled with steamed rice, that's it. That's dinner. Super easy. And a crowd pleaser. Now that the sauce is nice and thick, it's done and I can take it out. This is why you're supposed to cut the green beans in <laughs> But I forgot. It's okay. I was just so excited that the green beans were trimmed already that I was like, I don't need to do anything here, but alas. Get in there, green bean. Yes, a little messy from the too long green beans, but that's okay. We have our rice. Oops. That's it, ready to eat. Mm. Green beans are nice and tender and sweet. Chicken is super tasty. It's just a really nice dinner that's comforting and easy and it really only takes 20 minutes to make. Mm. I actually prefer this recipe with chicken thighs, super tasty. Oh, Bobo's getting up. And we're ready to go to the walk. Perfecto. She's a professional. Camera, and that's it. We're ready to go to the walk and quit the, the chips. The chips. Pause with the chips. Action. <laughs> Stop. <laughs>